Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode 18. So before we get started, let's focus on the denominator over here x power 3 minus x squared. As we can see that x squared could be factored out. So we can write it as 3x plus 2 on the top is going to stay same on the numerator and in the denominator I'm going to factor out x squared and we got x minus 1 in this parentheses. And now let's focus on this denominator once again. As you can see, we have a x squared. That means x is repeating twice. And then we have another linear factor, x minus 1. So let's go ahead and start doing the partial fraction decomposition for x squared. I am going to put down two fractions. So the first one is going to be just x the other one is going to be x square and then for the other linear factor I am going to put down one more fraction and it's going to be x minus 1 at the denominator and as far as the numerators are concerned on the top for first fraction is going to be a constant a for the second fraction constant b and the third one is going to be constant c. And now our task is to find the values of A, B, and C. Now let's go ahead and look at the denominator, which is x squared times x minus 1. So we are going to go ahead and multiply. We're going to multiply this, whatever this denominator is across the board. I'm going to write down x squared times x minus 1. Likewise, x squared times x minus 1, x squared times x minus 1, and likewise, x squared times x minus 1. And let's see right now, as you can see, this x squared cancel with this x squared, and this x minus 1 is gone with this x minus 1. So we are ended up on the left hand side with. 3x plus 2. And now let's focus on the right hand side. This one of this x crosses out with this x square. So we got a times x times x minus 1. And next this x square is gone with this x square. So we got plus b times x minus 1. And we can see over here on this fraction x minus 1 and x minus 1, they cancel out. So we got plus c times x squared. And I am going to call this as an equation number 1. And here is now a quick trick. Look for the linear factors in the denominator. Let's look at over here in the denominator. We can see x is one of the linear factors. The other one is x minus 1. Let me go ahead and copy it down right over here. x and the other one is x minus 1. I am going to set both of them equal to 0. If I set this one equal to 0, I got one of the value of x is x equal to 0. Let's set this one up as well equal to 0. So x turns out to be positive 1 as well. And now let's look at this x equal to 0 value. And I have put down over here, put x equal to 0 in equation 1. That means wherever x appears, I am going to replace it by 0. So let's get started. On the left hand side of this equation is going to become 3 times 0 plus 2 equals 2. And here if I replace x by 0 over here, 0 times this whole thing, 
whole term is going to become zero. Likewise, if I replace this x by zero, that means this whole term is going to become zero as well. So let's go ahead and put down zero plus b times zero x is being replaced by zero minus one and plus zero let's simplify furthermore three times zero is zero zero plus two equals to two equals to b times negative one which gives us b equals to negative two value and now let's look at x equal to 1 value and here I wrote down put x equal to 1 in equation 1. That means wherever x shows up I am going to replace it by 1. Let's go ahead and do that one on the left hand side of this equation 1 becomes 3 times 1 plus 2 equals 2 and here when I replace x by 1 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0. 0 times this whole thing, whole term is going to become 0. Likewise, in this second term, this x, when I replace it by 1, 1 minus 1 is going to become 0 as well. And when I multiply this 0 times, this whole thing is going to become 0 as well. So I can write on the right hand side 0 plus 0 plus c times and 1 is x is being replaced by 1 and this become square. Let's simplify 3 plus 2 becomes 5 equal to and this has become c times 1 that means c turns out to be and we still need to find the value of a for that one let's pick an easy point we want to just pick one easy point and x equal to 2 is an easy one and here I said put x equal to 2 in equation 1 that means wherever x shows up I'm going to replace it by 2 let's go ahead and do that one the left hand side of equation 1 becomes 3 times 2 and then plus 2 equals to a times x is being replaced by 2 and then 2 minus 1 plus b times 2 minus 1 and then plus c times 2 square. And let's simplify furthermore 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 the left hand side is going to become 8 and on this side this is going to become when we simplify it is going to become 2a plus b plus 4c. And now we know that b is negative 2 I'm going to replace b by negative 2 and c is 5 I'm going to replace c by 5 so let's do that one so 8 equals to 2a plus b being replaced by negative 2 and plus 4 time c is 5 so which gives us 8 equals to 2a plus 18 and we move when we move 18 on the other side 2a equals to negative 10 so that means a turns out to be negative 5 value so that's how a value turns out to be a negative 5 b value is negative 2 and c value is 5. So in our partial fraction decomposition wherever we see a I am going to replace it by negative 5, b by negative 2 and c by 5. 
and here when we replace a b and c by their respective values negative 5 negative 2 and 5 and here is our final answer as you can see thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye